Today we'll be looking at the rules for creating a scientific drawing or illustration. There are two types of drawings you'll most likely make in a science class. The most common type of drawing is a lab drawing. In this case, you'll be making drawings of what you see in lab. It could be the setup of an experiment, or it could be what you're observing under the microscope or dissecting scope. Another type of drawing you might create is a scientific illustration. This is an objective representation of the structures you'll find in an organism or organ. Here are some guidelines for creating a clear and concise scientific drawing. We'll start with the general rules. Always start your drawing with pencil. You can add color later. Make sure your drawing has a title. Whenever possible, label the right-hand side of the drawing only. There will be some exceptions to this rule. When making a drawing in lab using a microscope or dissecting scope, make sure you include magnification. We want to try to avoid labeling the drawing within the body of the drawing. So we use label lines and labels when we create a scientific drawing. Some of the guidelines for label lines are to use a ruler. The ruler makes the line straight. Do not cross the label lines. This confuses the eye and makes the observer confused about the structures being labeled. Label lines should point to the center of the structure being labeled. And try to avoid using arrows. Although they're nice and pretty, they tend to muck up the drawing and make it a little difficult for the observer to follow the structures. When creating labels for your drawing, do not write on the label lines. Print all of your labels horizontally and print, do not write in cursive. Okay, we've gone over some of the guidelines for creating a scientific drawing. Now, can you name six mistakes in this drawing in 15 seconds? Ready, go. Let's see how you did. Did you get all six mistakes? We'll start with nucleus. The word nucleus is written in cursive. We want to make sure we print all of our labels. If you follow the label line down to the nucleus, you'll notice that the nucleus is a very tiny structure in this picture. The arrow tends to obscure that tiny structure. Therefore, we want to make sure we don't end our label lines in an arrow. Next mistake is the cross lines. When you cross lines, the observer is not sure where to go next. The eye gets confused. Avoid crossing lines at all costs. The word cell wall is written on the label line. We want to avoid this. When you are labeling a lot of structures within a drawing, this can make your drawing look a little confusing and messy. If you follow the label line to the cell wall, the definition of a cell wall is the structure that separates one cell from another cell. In this case, you'll notice that the label line does not extend all the way to the cell wall. This is not acceptable. We want to make sure that the structure is labeled appropriately. Last, the word cytoplasm is written in an angle. We want to make sure that all of our labels are written on the horizontal. Did you get all of them? This is an appropriate way to label this drawing. You'll notice that the label lines extend to the middle of the structure. They do not cross. The labels are horizontal and printed. We've also added to this one the title and the total magnification of this particular drawing. The same rules apply for a scientific illustration. Make sure that your label lines are straight. They point to the center of the structure. Your labels are horizontal and printed. One thing you can do to avoid overcrowding of structures is to add brackets. That's what you see in this case, so I could avoid eyebrows and eyes being too close together. You'll also notice that we put the title down here. It doesn't matter where you put the title as long as the title is included in your drawing. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was informative. Please refer back to it whenever you're making a scientific drawing or scientific illustration so that you get full credit for all of your drawings.